So last week, Nintendo released the brand new Ring Fit Adventure for the Nintendo Switch, which actually aims to kind of take over a place where the Nintendo Wii Fit left off, that it was a healthy way to play video games. However, the Wii Fit was definitely more health oriented than actual gaming oriented. What they did with Ring Fit Adventure, it's an actually an action RPG style game. There's been a lot of people who have reviewed and covered the game being a gamer myself. It's not a very healthy occupation because I sit in a chair, Literally, I'm sitting in a chair right now at my gym. It's kind of ironic. So I thought it'd be a really good idea for me to get a perspective of a workout-based video game from professionals, people who do strength training and fitness. So I want to do a big shout out to King's Strength Performance here in Cranford, New Jersey for letting me come shoot on site along with my trainer, Rob. He's hiding off frame right now. It's fine. You'll see him in a bit. There he is. This game obviously tells you how you should be working out. That's, after all, the whole point of it. It's a known fact that when doing fitness, if you're in the wrong stance or the wrong posture, or you're not using the right muscles to do the exercise, you're not getting the most out of it. So I wanted to experiment of playing this game here with my trainer, and while I'm going through the exercises, I wanted to see if I'm doing it the right way, just based off of what the game is saying. Working out, I've done it here to there. I've never really got myself into a super healthy fit shape. Like I'm not one of the people who thinks that running is a fun exercise. Running is torture. You do it when something is chasing you. That's it. So uh, yeah, let's check this out. Right now we're doing uh, the obligatory update of controller. As soon as you boot up the game, it tells you how to put on the leg strap and how to attach the Joy-Con to the ring con, which is pretty neat. This is very durable to the point that you're not gonna be able to break it. Even someone much beefier than I, with muscles far bigger than my entire body combined, wasn't able to break it by just gently squeezing it together. How it's shaped, it's going to, your hands are gonna touch before it could even begin to break, which is pretty nice. And to see something durable like that is very appreciated. Hello, it's a warm up. By the way, there's something you must absolutely remember whenever you're doing ring proper posture. Right, Literally the first thing it says. Yeah, that's impressive. Okay. I'll take that start. Even if you believe you're doing the exercise correctly, if your posture is off, you could easily reduce how effective the exercise is. It's impressive. Now, please allow me to introduce our resident posture professional, representing the impeccably postured paragon of posability, Tip. Tip will demonstrate what it means to have proper posture. Once you've mastered proper posture, you can dive into your exercises knowing you're getting even more out of them. Be sure to watch Tip closely and enjoy ring fitness. Your exercises can be adjusted daily. Let's calibrate the ring con and leg strap to match your strength. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm already sweating pretty hard. <laughs> Dynamic stretching. Remember to do some dynamic stretching before you exercise. May keep your body flexible. Make sure your back is straight. I'm a little impressed on how much it's Last like. Time. Make sure right. your back is straight. Yeah. Heart rate is 143. You have water in a towel handy? Impressively I, detailed. I like the dynamic warm up because typically when we do like a, a class here, the first thing we do is a dynamic warm up. And it's very detailed. They give you like little cues throughout it as well, which is pretty nice. It's, like make sure your back is straight, which before it said that it wasn't. Mm -hmm. it's like, I don't know if it said it because my back wasn't straight. Or if that's just like something people commonly do in that situation. Yes, yeah. it's more the latter. Especially since I don't think you'd be able to tell with a strap on your leg. To bring you into the world of adventure, a movie, five or so minutes long, is about to begin. Do you want to watch it now? Nah. I'm here to work out, bro. What's Dragox? Dragox doing here. He's radiating a purple aura like this. Don't you remember? I probably shouldn't have skipped the story. <laughs> Estimated difficulty level, two minutes, 19.5 calories, and three tenths of a mile. It's a beautifully cell shaded game. Reach the goal. All right, let's go. When playing Ring Fit Adventure, when you first start off, it's basically, it goes little by little to get you into a workout routine. After you're done with your stretching phase, you then jump into the game and it basically starts you with the, how to navigate the world. That in order to actually move in the game, you have to jog in place. If you run in place, you move even faster. This reminds me of uh, the big bazooka guns that shoot air. Yeah. Get the deer, yeah. Poor deer Calves are getting pretty swole. Yeah. Oh. 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 That is brilliant. 
Also using the ring fit, you're able to jump into the air and then you're also able to hover into the air as well as a few other things like that. The stairs are easier to climb if you raise your knees up higher. Oh, I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And he doesn't descend stairs automatically either. Nope. Oh God, I hate cardio. <sighs> Look, you can victory pose. Spread your feet wide, get in front of you. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see. Calories burned. 30? I call bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. My stats are gains. Oh, yeah. So, it's impressive that they break down the time spent doing each, each movement. See, look. That's, that's actually cool. Oh, look. It's the legendary circle of... Power. Ancient, sure. Ancient power. Is it just doing a cooldown right now? But disguising it as a cutscene? Yes, but the way you think of it too is anytime you're not actively moving, they assume you're kind of in a cooldown mood. That's, it does look ominous. I think you just set free an ancient evil. Oh, yeah, it's probably the bad guy. Oh. Yep, this is definitely a bad guy. Oh, wow. He's been working out. Yeah, look at those packs. I need you to pee in this cup. Oh, it's talking. That was Drago. Drago. He's a dragon who radiates a dangerous, dark influence. Oh, my name is Ring, by the way. I hate you. Once you move on to the second part of the first level, you start to encounter enemies. And once you encounter your first enemy, you're greeted to four different workouts that you can do. Each of these four workouts let you choose how you actually want to move, and they have a cooldown, so you can't just abuse one. The four include a squat, an overhead press, a knee to chest, and a chair pose, kind of giving you the basics of how it's going to be making you work out. Oh, of course, you could just choose random, and the game chooses uses it for you. Right before you go to do an exercise, okay. Tip will actually show exactly how you should be doing it, and the battle or the attack doesn't begin until you're in pose. So the game will wait for you, and these are turn-based, and you could take your time getting into position. If you need to take a breath, you could take a breath, that's totally fine. How many reps that you need to do is based on your difficulty that you chose when you start up the game or when you choose a workout. I chose moderate, so for me, it was 22 reps of every single exercise. So here I'm doing 22 squats. The first 11, they make me hold for about three seconds each. And then after the first half, the second half is about one second each. During the first half, you get a better idea of the exact pose that you're supposed to be in. And during the second half, you're supposed to really just kind of work it out. And it feels good that you don't need to hold the position as long. And the second half also, you know, interprets a little bit of that cardio. How well you do the exercise is displayed not only on the character because the character's hair lights on fire the area that you're working out lights on fire but also the amount of damage that you do to the enemy oh. victory pose after all the enemies are defeated and making your way to the end of a level you get to go to the goal which is just one final squad and then you lift the ring con above your head after every level, you can use the IR motion camera on the bottom of the Joy-Con in order to measure your pulse. Here I was 154, which means that I'm sweating. I'm really working out at this point. If I was in a much healthier shape, I could be at 120 to 130 right now. But I mean, as it's pretty obvious, I'm a little out of shape. That's what I get for sitting in a chair so much. And it actually asked you if your knees were okay. That was interesting. Did it? Yeah. It didn't seem to give you anything. I'm soaked. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine what this is going to be like. On to the first time that I fight the antagonist of this game, Drago. Oh, well, there he is. There he's, he's doing push-ups. He's doing push-ups. <laughs> I can dig it. <laughs> oh my god. I would have to His say form kind of looks like he's just humping the ground. He's... suspect. Yeah. I think Chris said it earlier. He's, he's dripping with sweat. He skipped lower, but he skipped a uh, leg day. Leg day. Leg day. A lot. Also, just waiting for 
waiting for a break. When making my way into the battle against Dragaw, I knew it was going to be a long match. It's, it says that it's going to be about 10, 15 minutes long, and that's fine. And it's just constant. Just all the exercises that you've done so far, one after another, after another, after another. And it's, it's a pretty intense workout. I got super... Super sweaty from this. My heart rate was around 150 to 160 BPMs, which is fantastic. I'm just covered in sweat. This really sucks. <laughs> At the end of a workout, isn't that exactly what you want? Compared to when I work out with my trainer, this was more simple exercises, focusing on smaller areas of the body, one thing at a time, but it does it in a very safe way, that while you're going through these exercises, you're not going to be, you know, putting yourself in a position that you can injure yourself if you're out of shape. And I think that's a really good move on their part, plus they probably don't want the lawsuits. So you see the foot that's like charging up? Yeah. Like a foot uppercut. Right to the groin. My my personal only complaint is the battle against Dragaw. There was a hit meter at the bottom during my blocking phase, which you block it by holding the ring con up against your body. But I didn't know that he was going to attack me twice. And because of that, my health went down slightly more than it was supposed to. And I ended up losing the fight which was kind of lame. Once Rob had a chance to go through these levels, he turned it up to the extreme level, and he obviously flew through with flying colors as, you know, he's a professional, and I, I pay him to be a professional and help me work out, so I would expect him to do a lot better than me, just saying. After making a way past the first world, you're able to unlock different workouts or different workouts for your attacks. Also, there's a variety of enemies and multiple enemies to take on at the same time. So the first level is a good first workout and it gives you a good idea how to play. Now, I've only played through the first world and with Rob, we got halfway through the second one at the end of this workout, but I wanted to share my initial impressions for you guys. And this is what we have to say. So, Ring Fit Adventure. Uh, since I booted up the game, it's been 47 minutes. I'm literally dripping with sweat. According to my Apple Watch, I burned 484 active calories, 590 in total. My average heart rate 140 BPM, which is fantastic. And the weather was 65 degrees. Ring Fit Adventure, from what I see, it actually does a really good job of making sure that your posture and pose are right. Right, Rob? It's pretty good. And anytime that I started to slip up or start to do things in a, a not good way, it would give me a little hints to correct myself. And like any game, when you try to figure out ways to cheese it, there's not really any here. All in all, I would say on top of choosing to eat healthy and using this as a beginning or a kickstart of going to the gym and working out, I'm, I'm gonna get you in frame here because you've just been kind of like out of frame. Now you're just blurry in the background, but you're still in frame. So as a professional for fitness, what would you say for this? More impressive than I expected. So having seen some uh, previous like Wii Fit and other things like that, I expected maybe a little bit of motion. Impressive and kind of amusing to see how much this actually worked you out just from 40, like 30, 40 minutes. Keep talking, I'm just gonna wipe the sweat off my <laughs> face and my eyes. Proving, proving my point. I think the basic idea here is if you don't have a strong history of working out or you're getting back into it, whatever it is, this provides you with enough basics to get going and more than going, actually give you like a decent amount of workout while doing it in more than like a mindless way. You're working out, you're playing a game, and you're sweating a ton, which is more than enough for most people to just get started, and in a pretty safe way too. It's like you pointed out earlier, that while they can't provide you with too much nutritional guidance, and that stuff is important, when it comes to just sweating, uh, moving in a safe way, this is pretty cool. As far as a, as a game aspect, it's so much better than if it was just like, hey, do these exercises one after another. Yeah. Instead, like, it gives you a reason to. There's actually, like, a story and a, and a driving factor, a reason for you to do them, which I think is really nice. A lot better than we Fit was. You don't even have to realize that it builds in a number of, like, safeguards, whether it's checking your heart rate, which is very cool, uh, as which well as... Which was pretty accurate. Yeah, compared, especially compared to your watch. And it also 
uh, what we noticed with the exercises was it didn't even let you repeat them so you couldn't get over fatigue, so to speak. So after all, it had you doing probably what, 40 squats at a time, 20, 20, 20 20 ish squats at a time. And with the cool down or the recharge that it had, it didn't let you just keep repeating the squats. You actually had to switch to something else. Yeah, because if I overexert myself and then I'll feel really bad and I'll not want to keep working out. Yeah, it's cool that it takes into account both what you're actually doing exercise wise for the game. And then also it reminds you of things to do to be healthy and safe, which is like drink water, have a towel. Like even before it was like, all right, like make sure you have the space and you can wave your arms around you 360. Yeah. It's cool. So we're all Ring Fit Adventure. It's a heck of a lot cheaper than one private session with my trainer. It gets me just as sweaty. Not as many calories burned. And obviously it doesn't know exactly what I'm doing in my life and it can't give me proper nutritional information, but it can give me tips. And for anyone looking to start working out in addition to maybe researching diets online and then maybe also going for the occasional run or something. I mean, this had plenty of jogging in place. I think this is a great starting point for a lot of people. I wanna thank Rob and the great people here at King Strength Fitness for letting me come and play video games and lay on their floor. <laughs> Guys, if you've learned something new or you enjoyed this review, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.